often called all weather allies. India and Russia have major trade ties that span across various sectors. And now, both the countries are gradually using a new trade route, Eastern Maritime Corridor. The route is aimed at majorly reducing logistics cost and also boosting trade in the energy and fertilizer sector, among others, to name some. Maritime trade between India and Russia is uh, taking place through the western seaboard of India and the western part of Russia. The Mumbai-St. Petersburg shipping route, which has always remained the primary choice. It takes about 40 days for cargo to get from the origin port to the destination port. But off late, Russian ships are using an alternative route, the Eastern Maritime Corridor. That is from Russia's Vladivostok to India's eastern seaboard. The route goes through the Andaman Sea, Malacca Straits and South China Sea and cargo would take only 24 days for transport through this route. In 2023, thousands of tons of crude oil and cooking coal from East Russia arrived at India's ports in the states of Odisha and West Bengal. And beyond Siddharth MP spoke to Indian Ministry of Ports, Shipping and Waterways Secretary. Take a listen. Uh, savings in time are about 40 percent. It's about 40 days if you go by the Western Corridor. It's about 25 or 24 days if you go by the Eastern Corridor. So that's about 40 percent savings in time. Similarly, the distance traveled, if you see, that is about 8,600 nautical miles. This is about 6,600 nautical miles. So there is saving in terms of distance. Therefore, the, there is savings in fuel and costs. So this is a substantial savings. Subsequent to high-level bilateral talks and ministerial visits, a Russian delegation is visiting Chennai in southern India. The key areas of discussion include crude oil, cooking coal, fertilizers, liquefied natural gas and containers. The long-term goal is to improve trade by, connecting, by connections over 10 ports on India's eastern seaboard with up to 8 ports on the Russian Far East. And for more on this, our correspondent Susan Tehrani spoke uh, with the Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov about the potential impact of the Eastern Maritime Corridor on Russia's trade relations with India. Take a listen. How Russia views the potential impact of the Eastern Maritime Corridor on the country's trade relations with India and also its broader economic interest in the Pacific region as well. Thank you. No, it's a, it's a I think this is a question that requires a great answer, a, a big one, a detailed one. But we, as an overwhelming majority of the, on the Eurasian continent, have an interest in new corridors that would ensure, first and foremost, cheaper logistics, faster delivery of goods than it happens right now, or through the Suez Channel or around Africa. And number three, everyone has an interest in creation of logistic and transport chains that would not depend from the West. They will be independent of those who systematically abuse their position in global trade and global transportation routes. There is a north-south corridor that would allow to bring from the Baltic Sea um, goods um, efficiently, reliably to the Persian Gulf. There is a plan to connect ports of Russia in the Far East and India. There is also an initiative, Europe, Middle East, India. That's all. Uh, it's up to the Western Europeans, they're promoting this topic. For us, um, the priority is the North-South corridor, and uh, it will benefit India directly. It will go through Russia, Azerbaijan, Iran, and further down um, to India.